What's up with you? For today's video, we'll be full edible Pokemon team. Tears of a Mermaid, this one is for you. So we got a big list here of Pokemon that would be edible or you can eat, and I put them onto one team. If you want your own custom theme team or Pokemon sweep, you can check it out at patreon.com slash pimp9 and the tier two and above. Links in the description of the video. I've got two battles today, and I really hope you enjoy. Let's see if you can uh, sink your teeth into this one. Now, the question of today's video right now if you had a pokemon and you had to eat it why and what pokemon let me know below in the comment section of the video now we got an agron lady and i've got a uh, a little ice cream cone well we got some ice cream in the ice cream cone it's very very chilly around here so my first uh vinilux here is going to be a high school sphere beat up astonished explosion set King's Rock is the item, max speed and max attack, jolly nature. We're going to be going for beat up here, and I'm going to see if I can get a flinch on Agron. I do actually like leading with this because I can get six hits with the uh, beat up too. And Isol Sphere sort of runs on the same thing, but you know, you sort of have to uh, kind of hope that you get enough hits. So we got a nice little flinch there to start the battle off with, and I get an extra round of hail. Obviously, my ability is Snow Warning as well. Now, I included quite an interesting Pokemon on this team too. Not one that, uh, you know, everyone would probably eat, but we'll get to that in a second there. Um, there's actually a lot of Pokemon you could potentially put onto this team too. Now, I believe the last time I did an edible Pokemon team, well, I, I think it was, I want to say... You know, I want to say about six years ago that I did a team very, very similar to this. So anyway, back to the battle here. I was just beating this Agron up, like, continually. And it, what the thing is, right, I kept flinching it over and over and over again. I wasn't doing a lot of damage, but, man, it, like, racked up a lot. So that's, like, the second hit there. Like, like wait, six? I think that was, uh... Six, that was like 18 hits from my ice cream. So if you can just imagine it right, this ice cream is just smashing itself into an Agron. It's splattering everywhere and causing a lot of flinches. So getting Agron down to a low amount of health, I was like, man, maybe I'll be able to do this. I think Agron's going to one-shot me. Like, it gets one turn, it's going to one-shot me, right? i got to flinch again, and now this is a prime opportunity. Like, this is the pinnacle of Pip Night content right here. We're going to finish the Agron off with a Astonish. Beautiful play right there. Who would have imagined I would have won that matchup? So bye-bye, Agron. And the hail is going to stop too because that's how long it took. Like five turns to actually take that out. Next Pokemon is another Agron. So like, are we going to... Are we going to be doing this again or what? I mean, I don't have much to lose here. I may as well go for beat up again. So like, let's do this again. Let's see if we get a, uh, a Vinalux sweep with beat up and ice Girl's fear. Astonish was just there, you know, as the icing on the cake or the ice, icing in the ice cream, I guess you could say. Uh, so we're going to go for another beat up here. And once again, doing around the same amount of damage. And I get a feature like, man, this is so salty. Like, I'm actually low key starting to feel a little bit sorry for my opponent here, but. I was like, well, you know, if we do get the sweep, you know, it would be very funny. But I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Like, eventually, the Agron's going to be able to attack me or the other Pokemon. So I get a crit. That was a crit there. Another six hits, and Agron is going to get a Meteor Beam off. It was like, yep, uh, a special Agron here. I'm assuming right now that it's going to have uh, the Power Herb to boost its, uh, you know, to get that special attack boost right away and attack me. And I don't believe I'll be able to leave this because I'm not running any sort of bulk at all. So I'm going to get hit by this uh, Meteor Beam, and that is the end of the Troll Vanilla set. But that was a really, really good start to the battle there. I, I didn't think I'd be able to take Agron out without, like, insane luck, which I actually got. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Among Us. Now, I like Mushrooms. Um, I like mushrooms on my like breakfast. I, I actually I don't I, I don't mind them on my pizza. And yeah, they're pretty nice uh, actually. We got a choice banded uh, mushroom here. We got stopping tantrum, seed bomb, payback, and rollout. I've got max health and max attack, out of nature, regenerator as the item, and choice band. So go for a stopping tantrum, stopping the ground here to bring those mushrooms down. And uh, Agron is going to be fainted. So two Agrons are down right now. So this is. This is quality content. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be... It's another Agron. Three Agrons here. Now, Agron is going to go for Auromize here, boosting its speed. So, well, as soon as I see him down, I'm like, well, this is... This. I hope this doesn't have weakness policy, because this could be very, very scary, right? Uh, so, go for Stomping Tantra again. Uh, it's going to bring Agron uh, down to its uh, sturdy here. So, I was like, okay. It's going to obviously outspeed my whole team. And there we go. I did suspect after seeing the Auromize, it would be weakness policy. So uh, Agron is going to be a special set, but Fire Blast is going to miss. So I'm assuming they had all like uh, sort of inaccurate kind of moves there. And, you know, that is going to be the end of Agron there. So my opponent is getting some pretty damn bad luck at the moment from the uh, flinches to the fire misses. Next Pokemon. Oh, it's another Agron. It's Agron number four. 
Now, this is going to be a shiny one. It's also going to be Dynamax. Now, I don't blame them for Dynamaxing it after all that uh, really, really bad luck out. So, I'm actually thinking right here, have I done an Aaron Evolution team? I don't know if I have, because what, I, I know why I haven't, because I was waiting for Mega Aggron to come back in the game. So, maybe maybe I'm going to do that one time. So, Dynamax Aggron, no way I'm touching this at all. I mean, I went for Stompy Tantra again. It's going to be going for a Max Steel Spike, and yeah, that's going to be the end of my Mushroom there. But once again, an excellent job there by my ice cream and an excellent job by the mushroom. I've still got four more uh, food items to eat too. Now, the next item on the menu here is going to be puffer fish. So puffer fish, if you don't know, is actually like a like a cuisine. Like it, it is poisonous, and in, apparently in Japan you can eat it. It's called fu. I think it's called fugu or fugu. And uh, it has to be like a qualified chef has to, uh, you know, cook this to make sure there's no poison and stuff in there. And apparently it's like, it's really expensive. It's like, when I was researching, it's like from two to $400 for like a large, you know, meal. So, um, has anyone had that before? Has anyone eaten pufferfish before? And like, was it good? Was it worth? Actually, it's the liver of the pufferfish, I believe. But if anyone's had some hands-on experience with that, not me, I can tell you that. Let me know in the comment section of the video. That, that would, I feel like that'd be nasty though. Um, but you'd, you'd almost be, you'd be risking it though, because you, you're putting all your faith into the chef to like extract all that poison. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> so anyway, we got a uh, rain dance, sludge wave, hydro pump, and shockwave set. I found it was funny that it got shockwave, so I gave it that. So this special quillfish, it hits pretty hard. We got a damp rock as the item, switch swim as the ability, uh, sludge wave. Oh, you said I've said the moves already. I'm gonna repeat myself. Um, I got our max health and max special attack. So with switch swim, I could afford to give it some more EVs and health there. And you know, it didn't do all that bad. Once you got it in Dynamax, you could go for the uh, Sludge Wave or Max Ooze, and then Hydra Pump would hit pretty hard and also reducing your speed. So that's going to be the end of the Puffish there. Next Pokemon is Celebi. Now, I actually think about this. Celebi could be Onion as well, but it could also be Celery. So I don't know. Like... It could be two foods out, but its head does look like an onion. So go for an Aura Sphere here. Now, you're probably wondering why um, I'm running Aura Sphere on a physical set. I know it's pretty much channel, but this is actually meant to be for Dynamax here. So uh, Dynamax was meant to be for Max Knuckle, uh, for Celebi to boost his attack. And you know, the other moves are going to sort of get boosted by that. But since uh, since I wasn't actually going to Dynamax a Celebi, I decided against doing that. So when comes the arrow on here, I thought it might be like a level one, like not a level one set, but maybe an Endeavor set. So I went into the beef burger here. Uh, my beef patty is a little bit undercooked at the moment. It is blue. It's, it might still be in the freezer. So we got a special meal tank here. We got Hyper Beam, Focus Mist, Zap Cannon, and Blizzard. Uh, Focus Mist is going to land, which is really, really good there. The EV spread is made. Max health and max special attack, modest nature, and I've got the ability as Sap Sipper because this is VC. So yeah, we got Sap Sipper. Um, unfortunately, my second focus miss is going to miss it. That's the only problem when you lock yourself into that; it can miss. So now Aaron is going to go for protect. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. The Aaron's going to protect. You know, spam protect, and you know, I don't have a lot of focus misses left, but I'm like, well, I should have enough actually to take the rest of this team out. So go for focus miss here on the Aaron, and that is going to be the end of it. So we had four. Agrons and an Aaron so far. I don't know whether they are we're, we're planning to have six uh, six Agrons on their team or they just wanted like you know two of the babies. Next Pokemon is going to be Leron and they've got Protect as well. Oh come on! So now my uh, Focus Miss here is going to hit the Protect again. So I was getting I was starting to get a little bit low here on uh, on the on the PP side there and Focus Miss miss again. It did what it did best. Now the uh, Leron is going to go for a Iron Defense. Like okay, well Leron's got a lot of base defense, right? Like with Iron Defense if it's got body press, you know, that'll be doing a fair bit of damage. So now they're going to keep going protect over and over there, and I won't be able to get my focus pass off. So like, okay, the next turn, they're a goner. I've got the next turn, right? And, 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 and it missed. So that's the end of my focus miss. I think that's the very last PP on my focus miss, and I lived on four and a help. It was very, very close, right? So now I know they're going to use protect again. I was like, well, what, what can I really do? Like, there's no point swapping out here. What am I going to hit them with the blizzard? You know what I mean? If I swap it back in. So I decided here to go for the disrespect struggle and take out my mill tank. It, it stalled out all eight of my uh, focus miss PP there. But uh, that was a quality performance there by mill tank. Unfortunately, I missed a couple. I guess that makes up for the start a little bit. Next Pokemon uh, I'm thinking about bringing in here is going to be my apple pie. Uh, it's also got Celebi left too. Uh, they also got another Iron Defense, so it's plus four in defense here. So Apple Pie has got Apple Acid, Giga Drain, Dragon Pulse, and High Beam. This is a very, very bulky Apple Pie, trust me. 
Now, the uh, Laron's going to go for a body press here. That does an enormous amount of damage. So that's like, it's almost, I'd say it's almost a two hit KO. So I'm going to go for the Appalachian here. It obviously does very, very underwhelming damage. However, I've still got the Dynamax in the back here. So I thought I might be able to go ahead and do that. That'll give me some extra bulk against the uh, body pressing layer on too. Now, my items on the is Appleton. Now, this is an extremely bulky set. Works very, very nicely, actually. So we've got max health, obviously. I've got max defense, and I've got bold nature, and I've got assault vest with thick fat. This thing is so, so tanky. So the idea is just to get the Appalachians up to drop the opponent's special uh, defense, and then use Giga Drain for damage and to get your health back, and your Dragapossum... Well, high beam's kind of bad, on, but that was just like a little bit of coverage there. But it actually worked really, really well. Uh, so we're going to go for Dynamax up here. So I'm going to make the biggest apple pie you could possibly ever imagine in your life. I, I have to say I do like, um, it's probably one of my favorite sweets, apple pie. Uh, you know, for after dinner and stuff like that. Like uh, apple, I don't know if it's apple pie or apple crumble, but you know, th that's the same sort of thing there. Also, if, 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 if there's a, a f your favorite food as well, if there's not a Pokemon you'd like to eat, w let me know what your favorite food is there. I'd, I'd like to see. Let's get some food discussion going in the comment section here. Uh, make you hungry right now. Uh, so we're going to go for that uh, Max over over there. There's some mushrooms again, and that is going to be the end of Laron. That was their last Pokemon, and they did previously Dynamax. So uh, that is pretty much it for the Agron plus uh, the uh, couple of... Well, it's almost the Evolution line, I guess. The, the uh, Aron Evolution line plus uh, another three Agron. Uh, so thank you, AJCL, for the battle there. Uh, let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against uh, Mr. Guzzlot, and this was a pretty interesting team uh, as well here. Now, this was... Uh, yeah, I was going to start with my Vinalux again. So, like, I want to start with this Vinalux because I was, I was thinking in the team preview. I'm like, man, I actually got a good chance of actually maybe getting this. So we're going to get that snow warning going straight away. They're getting that salt falling a little bit. And, you know, that's going to help out with extra damage. So it's going to frisk out my King's Rock, Dust Skull. So obviously they know what they're going to do. So I'm like, fair enough. We'll just go for beat up now. And, you know, beat up's doing some pretty good damage there to Dust Skull. So I'm like, okay, that's two hits. There's three hits. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be able to take Duskull out. That, that should be enough, right? So there's four hits, and we got two more to take it out. I don't know why it's called Poe for, but maybe the Teletubby, like, I don't know, passed away or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that's the end of Duskull. Next Pokemon here is going to be... Um, oh, I hit it six times, by the way, if you didn't know that already. It's going to be a Dusclops here. So it's it's another Evo team. So it's like, okay, a Duskull Evo team now. So once again, my King's Rock is going to get exposed for the second time here. I was like, you know what? Well, let's let's beat this Dusclops up. So obviously, Dusclops is going to be a lot more tankier than Duskull, right? So it's going to be able to live my attacks a lot of, like a lot better. But it's kind of similar to the first battle that I had with Agron there. If I get enough flinches, you know, if I throw enough flinches, it's going to stick, you know what I mean? So go for them six hits again. It, I guess it did a little bit more than Agron. So it's about a three-hit KO. So 18 quality beat-ups there. Now, Dusclops is not going to get flinched, and it's going to set up a trick room. So unfortunately for me, that is going to be the end of my speed control on this battle. Well, in this matchup, right? Uh, now the Dusclops is going to go for will o -Wisp, Like, oh, no. Now my attacks are going to do, like, nothing. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean I can't get, you know, defeat the Dusclops. It's just going to take, like, a lot more hits. So I started going for a trolling Icicle Sphere. I was like, you know what? Let's go for five hits. Let's roll them dice, baby. So go for them, Ice Wolf Spheres. That's three hits. And we got four hits. I was like, man, that was actually really, really good. And I got five hits from Ice School. So that was really, really cool there. Uh, now the Dust Cops here is going to get hit again by the hail. So it's, it's getting pretty close. You know, a couple more rounds of beat up will take it out. Uh, now Dust Cops is going to go for the uh, Pain Split here. And it's going to split the pain. I'm sorry, I just ate a little while ago there. I had a... Um, I had a hamburger. It was very, very nice. Like hamburger and salad. Very, very, very good. Uh, not like a McDonald's one, like, you know, more of a homemade one. That nice, uh, you know, that nice beef patty there. An egg, salad. Man, it, like, it, it was so good. I could, I, I could low care go for another one right now. Anyway, all this food talk, people. So we got the dust cop swapping out here, and we got the dust law sliding right in. Now, it's going to have the pressure here. It's going to obviously, you know, the pressure's on here, people. But I can go for Ice Wolf Sphere. Um, I really can't do a lot into this thing. I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep Vinalux in. And it's going to do as much as it can do. And I'll just let it faint, you know? There's no point in even swapping out now because it's burned. So the set is, you know, virtually ruined here. I mean, the, the ice cream is melting. You know, you know what I'm saying there? Uh, so now uh, Dust Sonora is going to go for a Shadow Ball. And, you know, that's actually going to take me out. I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty good. Maybe this is like... I actually expected to live that, like, kind of badly. So maybe it's like a Choice Specs one. 
So now I'm going to go into uh, old beef burger because I wanted to see if it is actually choice or not. I was like, mm, maybe, maybe it is right. So uh, now the next Pokemon to slide in is going to be uh, Dust Clops, uh, Illuminati. Uh, I've actually done an Illuminati team before. It's very, very long time ago. And now I'm going to go for a Blizzard here. And Blizzard is actually going to hit, which is very nice. Uh, not that it really does a lot of damage there. Uh, now we're going to land two Blizzards in the row. I'm feeling good about this, you know. And it's it's a quality 5 here, KO. Uh, now Dusclops is going to go for a mean look, trapping my mill tank in. So I was like, oh no, this is bad. Once again, my mill tank is getting trapped in and, you know, they're going to like abuse the low PP on this set. So Dusclops is going to go for a curse here and it's going to drop down its health and put a curse on my beef burger, right? Uh, you don't want to eat this beef burger now. So I'm going to lose that quarter damage health. I was like, well, if I land a Blizzard, I should be able to take Dust Cops out, right? I think they were banking on me actually missing Blizzard and then, you know, possibly healing. Maybe another pain for the rest. But, you know, Dust Cops is going to go down there to a Blizzard. And I'm going to take another round of Curse here. So I'm going to be alive for two more turns here, people. Now, the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be the Dust Nor from earlier on. It's like, all right, fair enough. We know that it's got Shadow Ball. You know, what other moves does it have? So they can see I'm Specs as well, by the way, if that wasn't obvious. Oh, wait, I, I struggle because of pressure. So going for the struggling, man, this beef... This beef burger has struggled both battles. Um, I think we got a, a, a disrespect curse here. I think my opponent actually expected me to swap out there. I lived on one health there, the Merchant of Bible, and now I'm going to swap Miltank out on one health. Like, that was the ultimate troll there. So going into the mushroom here, uh, now Dustnor is going to go for the Trick Room. So it's it's um, it's um not obviously uh, going to be choice here. So it's set the Trick Room up. Now it's going to be Dynamax. Dust Nor. So I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be extremely bulky. Am I going to be able to get like a payback on this? Like payback would hit this really hard, but I need to be able to, one, I need to go second to get that double base boost, which I will on the trick room. And two, I need to be able to live the attacking move. So I went for that payback right there. Uh, Dust Nor is going to go for a max Phantasm. Like, okay, hopefully I'll live this. And it dropped my mushroom in one shot. I was like, man. I actually had these mushrooms once. They were really, really nice. Um, they weren't like a generic mushroom. They were like really skinny. Like they had a really long stalk, right? And the head on them was tiny, but they were really long and skinny. I don't know even know what you call them. They were, they were really, really nice. I, I just, I'm not sure what they were though. Um, I, I don't know, I had them in, I think I had them in like breakfast at some place at some point. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go for our ass apple acid here on the uh, dust or dropping that special event. So that's going to be important, you know. Uh, now dust is going to go for a max knuckle here. Obviously, this is a physical set and apple pie is going to get eaten there. So this is actually starting to look bad. I have to take out this dust nor. It's going to be sweeping my team, right? So we've got a dust clops, two dust nors, and a dust skull left. So... This is, uh, things are looking pretty right now. Now we're going to go into Pufferfish. I was like, it's time here, people. We might be able to get the Dynamax Pufferfish going. So Dustor's, uh, Dynamax is going to end, which is fine. Now, I could set out the Rain Dance, but since I know that it's got, like, a boost up already, I'm not really sure if I actually want to risk that. You know, I was like, man, I may need to go for the Dynamax and go for Hydro Front right away. Like, I might not even be able to go for Max Ooze. I mean, I do have Max Health, sure, but I don't want to take any risks here, right? So we're going to go for the Dynamax Quillfish. Now, are there any people out there that like Quillfish? Is Quillfish anyone's favorite Pokemon? If it is, I have done a Quillfish sweep before. Um, that is on YouTube if you want to check out. It's an oldie but a goldie. Go check it out. If anyone, if anyone checks it out, leave a comment there. I'll, I'll, I'll comment back. I'll, I'll hit you right back. So we're going to uh, dust or go for a Shadow Sneak here. Uh, losing a little bit of health. I'm just going to go for Max, guys. That, that dust or is definitely Max Attack for sure, right? Uh, so getting the Swift Swim up there and disposing of that dust on, which is very, very nice. So I've got the option here also to go for Max Ooze too. Or I could just keep going for a Max Geyser, you know, there's always that too. So bye-bye dust on, that was very, very threatening right there. Next Pokemon uh, is going to be, oh, this is a dust Ops, right? Yeah, so there's no more Trick Room ever, so that's going to suit my Swift Swim perfectly. Not that, not that any of these Pokemon can outspeed me outside of under Trick Room, right? Uh, so go for Max Geyser on the dust Lop. So this, I thought... I don't think this will actually faint it, right? And it didn't, because Dusclops is very bulky, and Quillfish's special attack is, you know, virtually rubbish, right? Unfortunately, Dusclops is going to get a Trick Room up. We're like, oh, here, here we go again. So now they're going to go for Pain Split there, and we're going to split that Pain right around, and the Dusclops is going to get a fair lot of health back. Now, on this one, I went for a Max Lightning, because I wanted to get the Electric Train in the field, because I wanted to try and, uh, you know, boost up that Shock Wave, you know what I mean? And then I could go for Hydro Pups in the rain still. So that was the plan there. Also, if there's any, like, 
scummy sleeping moves or any status like that, that would be quite useful because you never know people, all right? You never know what the opponent is going to use. So now Dusclops is going to go for a Nightshade here, so that's its only fixed damage move. I can see that I can live another one. So I went for a Hydro Pump here and a land. I was like, oh, this is excellent, right? Uh, Dusclops is going to get hit by that, and it just lives there. So like, okay, I've got to try this. So... What I'm going to do, right, I'm going to go for a max, I'm going to go for a shockwave here, right? I got that electric train up. I'm feeling good about this. And I failed to take it out. It's so, so weak. So I got to saltily swap out there, right, and go into Celebi, right? I've got to keep my cool fish in the back, right? And now the Dust Cops is going to go for a will o -Wisp. It's fine because uh, even though I am running a physical Celebi, I've got the ability Natural Cure. So I'm like, that's okay. I can easily, uh, you know, take the Dust Cops out, then swap Celebi out and cure my burn off. And also stole out that last little bit of trickster in there, right? So go for a disrespect, uh, a disrespect burn psycho cut, and that is the end of the dust top. So we've got a dust snore, which we've already seen earlier on, and we've got a dust skull left. Now the electricity is going to disappear from the field. I'm very sad about that, my poor shockwave. And we've got the uh, dust skull coming out. So okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to swap the LB out here, like. If that's a ghost move, I really don't want to get hit by it. It may be setting up Trick Room again, too. Like, most of these... I reckon, like, three of these at least that Trick Room. So, going to Mill Tank in hopes of a ghost-type move, and it's going to use Skitter Smack. So, like, oh, that would have been very bad if I left Celebi in there, right? So, bye-bye, Beef Burger. You were so handy in this battle. Such a great Pokemon uh, this time around. Now, the rain is going to clear up here, and I'm going to go into Pumpfish. So, I was like, okay, this is fine. I can get a uh, you know, Hydro Pump. This is do some all right damage, yeah? And then I can go Celebi. However, the Dust Skull is going to have Shadow Sneak, and that is going to be the end of the Puffer Fish. So, now, it is down to Celebi versus Dust Style and Dust Norse. So I was like, okay. I'm, I actually have a good chance here, but I need to be able to take this Dust up really quick because I know it's got Skitter Smack, right? Leaf Blades are two here, go. Excellent, right? Uh, now Dust Gold's going to go for a Skitter Smack there. It's going to try and slice them onions up, but I live, which is great, rare, right? So that's going to be dropping my special attack. Not that it matters at all. Now the Dust Knoll is going to go for Endure. I was like, all right, um, even if it's got like Salak or something like that, it, you know, it won't outspeed my uh, Celebi. I know that I can live a Shadow Sneak because it's not four times, right? The Dust Skull is going to have a Custard Berry and it's going to have Skitter Smack. So that is going to be the end of my Celebi, a Custard Dust Skull took the Sally Beard, and that, my friends, is a very, very salty finish to this battle. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with another video, and uh, eat them snacks, people. Peace out.